So the last video that I posted unboxing the Samsung T7 SSD and setting it up on my camera got some people to comment and ask some really important questions. The problems that I didn't know I might would have faced going further using this SSD. So here I am with a brand new video sharing my little experience with this Samsung T7 SSD on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. <laughs> What is up everyone welcome back to another video you're watching streets of punk so the first thing that i want to address is that this samsung t7 absolutely works with my black magic pocket cinema camera 6k pro so we can get that out of the way i've seen a couple of videos that say this doesn't work with black magic cameras but for me this works absolutely fine right off the bat. Now for the Blackmagic 6K and the 4K users, you might face a little problem in the beginning with the compatibility issues, but with the latest 7.9 firmware update, it can be solved. At least that's what I have read on the internet. Now this one has a 500 GB capacity and one GBPS speed. What all it can record, how much it can record, the resolutions, the frame rates. Let's see that. So here we go. Now before you start recording on the Samsung T7, I would recommend you to format the drive on XFAT format. Now this is Samsung T7 right off the bat on the Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. Now you can see I'm about to record on 6K resolution with constant quality at Q0. Now this camera will record at its full potential. so. Let's check it out if it works or not. So this is my subject. Let me just crank the... This is my subject, the beautiful Puma suede. Vintage, never worn. Now I will start recording. So you can see at 6K, Q0 constant quality there is no problem the t7 ssd the samsung t7 ssd works perfectly fine as of now so i'll stop the recording and let's play that footage back yeah so it plays back perfectly fine no issues there so let's try a couple of more formats and resolutions. Now I'm going to switch over to 6K 2.4 is to 1 ratio at constant quality Q0. So let's see. So at 6K 2.4 is to 1 ratio. Let's start recording. No such problems in this as well. Let's play it back. Plays back perfectly, absolutely no issues. Now for the sake of this video, we are going to try the 2.8K 17 is to 9 resolution on the constant bitrate 3 is to 1 ratio. So this will be 120 FPS playing back at 50 frames per second. Let's start recording. By the way, at 120 FPS, 2.8K, there is a crop of 3.5 times. So you have to bear with that. But I will show you if this SSD works perfectly with this or not. So recording at 120 FPS, playing back at 50 frames per second on the Samsung T7. SSD works perfectly fine, no problems whatsoever. Let's see this in the playback. So you have seen it with your own eyes. I think there are no questions left, but if you do have one, 
the comment section is all yours. So yes, there it is. Now the only problem that you might face with the 500 GB variant is recording on the 6K resolution because it only gives you around 13 to 15 minutes of recording time limit, limit of recording. So with that, I hope I was able to clear some doubts. This Samsung T7 SSD absolutely works with my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K Pro. And as I told you with some firmware updates, the 4K and the 6K variants will be. <laughs> so yes, if you like this video, do comment, like, share, subscribe, do all of those things, the YouTube cliche. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. By the way, with this firmware update, the autofocus has gone from 7 out of 10 to 9 out of 10. And that's, that's, that's fantastic. Great time to be a black magic user. <laughs> Not the other black magic. <laughs>